Well, good evening. Today is December 18th. This is uh, the Nine Days to Christmas, Christmas Novena, based upon the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Watch ye, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the desires, devices, and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Father God grant you absolution and remission of all your sins true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of His Holy Spirit. Amen. Praying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Break into song, daughter of Sion, and sing for boundless joy, daughter of Jerusalem. For he comes, your Lord and Master, and the day shall gleam with a radiant splendor, and mountains distill sweet new wine. Hills shall flow with milk and honey, for now comes a long-awaited prophet, and then he shall rebuild you, Jerusalem. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. He shall be both God and man, and come from David's house to sit upon his kingly throne. Ye shall see him, and in your hearts rejoice gladly. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the Holy One of Israel shall appear, God our shield and strength, and the diadem of kings shall rest upon his brow. His domain shall encompass the land from sea to sea, and from the river even upon the earth's most remote limits. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord indeed shall appear, and his word shall never fail, though he tarry a while. Keep a wakeful watch, for swift and sudden shall be his coming. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. As dew gently falling upon a fleece, shall he descend. In the days of the Lord shall righteousness again prevail, with blessing of peace abounding. And in homage shall all the kings and princes of the land, all the nations serve and adore him. The Lord our King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. For unto us a boy is born, 
his name the God of might and power. He shall sit upon the throne of David, his father, and rule his people. For the government rests upon his shoulder. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Bethlehem, city of God most high, from you shall spring the chosen King of Israel, and his coming forth shall be as a timeless morn of the days of eternity. So shall the nation's countless voices chant his praise in wondrous concert, and lasting peace shall fill our land when he shall appear. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Tomorrow shall the earth be freed from all iniquity, and the Savior of the world shall reign over us. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Near indeed is Christ the Lord. Come, let us adore him. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. The Old Testament reading for December 18th of this Christmas Novena is from the ninth chapter of Isaiah, beginning in verse 1 and ending in verse 6. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation, and not increased the joy. The joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Here ends the reading. Rejoice heavens and earth, be joyful, and mountains sing glad praises. Burst forth mountains with gladness, and lowly hills with justice. Because the Lord is coming, on his poor he will have mercy. Drop down dew, heavens and clouds, rain and the just one. Earth be opened and bud forth a savior. O Lord, do remember us, and visit us with thy salvation. Show us, Lord, thy mercy, and grant us thy salvation. Lord, send thy Lamb, the ruler of our nation, from Petra of the desert to the daughter of Sion's holy mount. Come, Lord God of hosts, and deliver us. Show us thy face, and we shall see salvation. Come, Lord, and grant us peace, thy visit, that we may joy before thee with heart all perfect. May we know, Lord, on earth thy passing, the salvation in all nations. Arise with power and come to us, and settle us in safety. Come, Lord, and delay us no longer. Loose the bonds of thy people. Only rend the heavens and come down to us. How the mountains would melt away at thy presence. Come, Lord, and unveil to us thy countenance, who dwelleth over the cherubim. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson from the New Testament is from the fifth chapter of Matthew, beginning in verse 17 and ending in verse 20. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least of these commandments, and, te and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. 
But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Saying the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Antiphon O Adonai, leader of the house of Israel, to Moses in the flaming bush you appeared, and gave him your law on Sinai. O come and do ransom us in the strength of your arm, extended. saying the Magnificat. <clears throat> my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and the rich he hath sent empty, empty away. He, remembereth him, he remembering his mercy hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Adonai, leader of the house of Israel, to Moses in the flaming bush you appeared and gave him your law on Sinai. O come and do ransom us in the strength of your arm extended. And now let us renew and affirm our faith together by stating the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, now and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at thy first coming 
didst send thy messenger to prepare thy way before thee. Grant that the ministers and stewards of thy mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready thy way, turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at thy second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in thy sight, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. O oh God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy. Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting in power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land. And so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, the governors of these states, and all others in authority, that they, knowing his ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory and that we and all the people duly considering whose authority they bear may faithfully and obediently honor them according to thy blessed word and ordinance. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee. Pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal. That it, he may so, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith in unity of spirit, and the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed, in mind, body, or estate. And I invite you to state your own intentions at this time. especially pray for all Christians around the world and for those who are near and dear to us who may be suffering and hurting and in need that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions and this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake Amen praying the general thanksgiving Almighty God Father of all mercies we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory world without end. Amen. Almighty God who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, 
as may be most expedient for them. Granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. May God continue to bless you and may we continue to prepare ourselves to observe the festive day of the Lord's birth. Looking forward to his first advent and then finally to his second advent. And may we all be found ready and prepared. Good night and God bless you.